in Beijing and the weather is pretty good so today I'll be joining a tour to visit two venues of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics um, so it will take approximately two and a half hours to drive there from Beijing downtown area and I'm super excited to be able to visit the venue let's see what will happen let's go I'll visit the National Alpine Ski Center and National Sliding Center in the Yanqing competition zone which is one of the three competition zones for the 2022 games and now we've just entered a mountain area in the suburb. Okay, I'm now in the National Alpine Ski Center. It is the first Olympic standard Alpine ski venue in China. It has seven slopes that are all 9.2 kilometers long with a vertical drop of more than 900 meters. Okay, so now we're heading to the peak platform by Cableways. Now we're in the cable car that is taking us to the peak platform which is on the top of Xiaohaitua mountain. Each cable car can carry at most 8 people and on each seat there's like a seat warmer installed so it feels very warm inside the car. Now we're like at a transport station like a subway so we have to wait here and transfer to another line to take us to the higher platform. So now we're waiting. So the, the wind is very strong outside. We can hear the wind is blowing. And there's a snow making machine working here. About 170 snow making machines like this are set to create artificial snow covering an area of 800,000 square meters. Okay, so we're now at the medium platform. And we're going to transfer to another cable way. And the wind is stronger up here and it's pretty cold. Okay, we have a billboard here that says it's minus 12 degrees Celsius up here and wind speed is 8 meters per second and it's 10.30 in the morning. Okay, so this is the peak platform. It looks like a giant height over top of the mountain and about to take off. Okay, finally, we're at the peak platform and the view is magnificent here. So the peak platform is located on the top of Xiaohaitua Mountain, which is said to be the second highest peak in Beijing area with an altitude of about 2,198 meters and it's all snow covered here Okay, so now I'm at one of the starting points of the courses and here is a slope for men's downhill start and it's called the rock slope so athletes will enter the slopes here and this is where the game starts. It took us around 30 minutes to get here by cableways. But for athletes, it normally takes them only two minutes to ski down. And it's super cold up here. If I take off my gloves, my hands will be frozen within seconds. Small slopes here. The snow is very thick. Okay, so unfortunately, due to the COVID restriction, the National Sliding Center is being disinfecting and it's cleaning up, so we're not able to go inside it. But standing from here, I can see the whole structure, complex design, and the material used, and even its colors are in perfect harmony with the natural surroundings around it. Um, and when you look at the mountains, it won't disturb at all. Organizers are also focusing on trying to create a, a low carbon emission structure to make the venue greener and environmentally friendly. Yeah, it looks quite impressive from here. 
before coming here, I didn't know much about winter sports, especially sliding sports. But having this experience of actually coming here and feeling the vibe, I become more and more interested in it and know more about it. So I can't wait to see more winter sports at Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Thank you.